everyone it's another episode of spikes fishing <sighs> check this out my garden patch has finally sprouted something is it a pumpkin no i think it's a zucchini so we have a zucchini plant growing at the ramp Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. I'm out in Botany Bay, it's 11am, had a bit of a sleep in, and it is cracker. Blue skies, low wind, warm sun, very empty boat ramp which was interesting. Anyway, I'm going to head offshore and I'm going to give Lewis another crack today. I've got no bait. Um, so that'll be interesting. I've got no pilly to save me from a donut this time. See how the lures go. I might try two different types, the jerk shad and the curly tail. Drifting and spot locking. See how it goes. I'll take you with me. See ya. upside down not that it matters too much so a little motor oil grub on a one sixth jig head size two hook a 10 pound leader six pound braid on my atc virtuous 3000 carbon fiber my blade entails two to four kilo rod let's do it so the aim is to cast it out around the same distance as your depth against the current so if it's 20 meters deep cast it 20 meters out you need to have the jig head correctly weighted so that it comes back nice and slowly naturally to the boat down the water column you want it to end on the floor around your boat towards me I just give it a few flicks. This presents better as it's coming down. Snapper, my first cast. <laughs> On the gobbler's motor oil grubby. Oh, I'm so scared. See the smile on my face. I'm like a little kid. Legal snapper on the little where'd it go? It's there. 
the little three uh three inch motor oil grub. How good is that? And I just want to show you a little present that this snapper's brought up. That is a prawn. Oopsie. There's a little prawn stuck to it. Hopefully you can see that right there. Anyway, snapper on lure, first cast on a grub this time. Try again. Nice fish. And that's the prawny. I might put a second lure on, which is going to be like a whitey clear colour, and leave it in the rod holder and see how that goes. Yes. Alright, so while I put the um, second lure on, I'm just going to cast this out again and let it sit in the rod holder. Now this is a much heavier rod, it's got 20 pound litre, it's a, um, I think it's a 4 to 7 kilo rod, so it's going to be good if a big snapper comes along and will handle it. Two O hook is a little bit iffy for a snapper mouth, but, or for a big snapper, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm using the same size as the last one, one sixth jig head. Simple. There was a prawn on the snapper, so they might be eating prawns. That's close. It's the only jerk shadow I have close to that colour. Just gonna thread it through. Like that, nice and straight, relatively centered. So down it goes. And I'll um, lock it when it hits the bottom in the rod holder. And we'll come back to it when it goes off, if it goes off. snagged again which means I'm too heavy I've gone one eighth now size two Ooh. and I might go back to a darker color these are my options that's the gobbler's pad I might try UV crop paint actually no Bubble gum.
we go. I'm onto something big and heavy. I think it's a ray of sorts. for this anyway. I have this thing in my head that if I put sunscreen on, I have to put um, scent all over myself to get rid of it, even after I've washed my hands. It's really, I don't know, smoking's the same thing. If somebody's smoking, I always tell them, don't touch anything that goes in the water that's to do with fishing because the fish can bloody tell. I feel like it won't stop you from catching fish but it certainly impacts to a point. It's, you know, sunscreen's the same, citrus fruits are the same like oranges. Don't touch anything once you've eaten them or once your hands have been in contact with them. Just don't touch your gear, your hooks, your bait until you've washed your hands properly. So this one's all pillied up, sardine flavour. See how it goes. Okay, almost lost the fish trying to put the camera on to show you guys this. I'm on mid-water on the little hyper bubble gum grub. Hasn't run yet. Wow, well, it's bigger than the last one. How's that for satisfaction? Little grub. I'll get out of the sun. Yes. Snapper. Little grub, three inch grub, hyper bubble gum. You can see the bites that this lure has had all in the front there. Still good, they're very tough lures, so I'll put some more barbecue sauce on with chili flavour and give it another crack. I'm 
just going to pop that there and show you the um, sounder. So there's bait there and there's predator down there. Bait, predator. Now that that's cleared, there's just a couple cruising around. And they're decent sized fish too. I've, I've got the jerk shad sitting at about 12 meters. And I'm gonna work my hyper bubble gum grub all the way to the floor. Yakka. I don't know if that's embarrassing or cool, but now I've got some bait to use for later. I might use a half piggy wig to strip this dude up. Well, that's coming back to the boat you like when you buff. I made it out of the half pity logo. It's pretty cute, eh? Something took it on the bottom. I'm not feeling much fight to it though. We'll just bring it up and see what it is. It could be like a scorpion fish or a rock cod. Oh, it's our foul hooked brass thing. secret I don't like touching these fish for some reason the spout hooks the grub they really bother me the few of these oh. Anyway, I'll let that go. Give it a rass. So slimy. This was a very aggressive hit mid water, and I've moved into 12 meters, so there's not much room here with my skinny line. I don't think this was the original fish that hit me. This is the second fish that come through. And it's a true valley. I also changed the lure colour as well. So that's that there. That's a different lure colour now. Called um, UV Pro Stinger. I'm going to keep trying with this because that first hit was not this fish. That first hit was something much bigger. Oopsie. I'll let it go. Okay, so I was just dropping the lure down, guys, and I noticed my line started going out really quick, so I pulled the bail arm over. And I'm on. Which is good. I'm hoping it's not another true valley. It's not big. 
it's another bloody yakka. Yakka. <laughs> On this lure. I might have to think about what I'm going to do now. Maybe I'll go a little bit heavier so I can keep most of the action in the lower depths of the water. Keep away from those yakas that are sitting a little bit higher up. Now I'll give this another crack. Put some barbecue sauce on it. I should call this liquid mayhem because that's what it is. I think it's going to be discontinued though, so get it while you can. Chili flavour. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh hell yeah, that's a trifecta of yakas. <laughs> I'm moving. Alright, so I've been fishing for an hour and a half now and I've put both rods in the rod holder with the lures in them. One's midwater, one's down low. I'm going to ignore them now. I'm going to fillet the yakka, which I caught on lures, and see if I can catch something on the half pilly rig now. Okay, so I've got my first fillet off my yakka. I'll probably cut it long ways and put it on so it's like a nice long bit of bait. So I've cut it, nice long piece of bait. So there's the pili rig, and I'm going to thread on my fillet, that fillet, like a worm. So hook, long dangly fillet. I'm not going to go through the skin. I'm going to go through the meat. And just like a lure, I'm going to skin in ways. Feed it through like that, all the way up, and then I'm just gonna come out. Still in the still in the meat, not in the skin. And that's gonna be my bait. It's a bit crooked, but it's bait. No one cares. They just bite. So keeping true to my lure session i caught this on a lure fair and square so now i have bait to use Okay, I just got reefed, so I'm going to open the bail arm. Yeah, I'm, I'm reefed. Thankfully, as the fish came out, it spat. The way I can tell I was reefed is 
it's all frayed now but you know what it's still okay because it's quite a thick line just get another bait down there Scorpion. That's another bloody scorpion. So my yakka strip has caught a massive scorpion fish, which I'm just going to net, and I mean massive. That's probably a three kilo scorpion fish. I'll move the camera. Now, I've been stung by one of these before and it was excruciating pain that when I got stung here in the middle of my two fingers and it went all the way up my arm, numbed my arm, arm was in pain but it was numb at the same time and it lasted about five hours and I kept fishing through it and actually thought I probably should go to a hospital at some point but I fished through it and then it got better but for seven days that pain was in my hand it was bloody bad anyway enough about me how is that for a scorpion fish on a fillet of yakka on the half killy rig. So there's the hookup, there's the bait, and there's the fish. That's huge! That's almost 40 centimeters, and that is a big fish, and that's coming home. I'm going to give that to my friend who absolutely loves scorpion fish because that has a few ki or probably at least a kilo of fish on it which is epic might just get a photo of it that's it for me guys I've had enough it was an epic couple of hours um, using soft plastics and then using the yakas I caught on soft plastics for bait. It wasn't very exciting, but it was good to practice with lures and I'm gaining more confidence every time now. I hope you guys can get yourself some lures. I use gobblers lures and um, get yourself some jig heads and give lure fishing a go offshore for snapper. I seem to be doing okay. It's my second time um, in two weeks going for them lately and my aim is to get a big one so I'm going to keep persevering I got a new rod and a new reel coming next week just for this so hopefully it'll be able to handle a big snapper and then hopefully I'll be able to present a lure good enough to fool a big snapper anyway till next time take care stay safe and have fun thank you so much for watching don't forget I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat, and I have a website, spikesfishing.com.au.